Hi everyone, today we're back as a homeowner. This morning, I'm drinking a cup of coffee here, browsing the marketplace in the home office here, but I have a few projects I want to get to here, so why don't we put the uh, coffee cup here in the sink and head on outside here to the garage. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below, and if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. As many of you guys saw last week, we picked up this F-250 Tremor. It's been a pretty sweet truck so far, and I do have a few mods arriving here for it. I want to get some mud flaps here for it, and I do want to get a little bit of window tin here to help out, just so that the truck isn't really hot during the summer months here. But one thing I just noticed, guys, I do want to fold back the bed cover there. That way, it is all a nice, let's just keep going, perfect. That will help out quite a bit here. But what caught my eye, guys, was the neighbor's players was right out front. Wow, that thing is sweet. The three-wheel players a slingshot is pretty cool here. Oh, that's manual. That's even better here. But the first thing I want to get to this morning, guys, is I mowed the yard, but I need to get out the weed eater to do out front here. There's just not enough room to put the mower uh, with the mower deck because of the height of the asphalt and things like that. So we'll do some weed eating uh, start to start off our morning here. It's only like about 10 o'clock here, so I spent a few hours on the computer. Weed eating here doesn't take too much time here. It's not too big, but one thing was I probably should have put the fence back probably another foot here. Then I could have mowed it here, but just with the height difference here, I really don't want to uh, hit the edge of the deck on the asphalt or even uh, scrape the fence here. So it's better just to take the extra time to do this little bit of weed eating, which is no problem. And I do want to get some flowers for out front here. So I have to go by the local tree nursery or maybe Home Depot and see if we can pick up some flowers here. Not sure what I want, maybe some tulips and just different things like that here, but just about done. All right, we'll just bring the weed eater and we'll put it inside the garage here. So next up, guys, with the warm weather here, we're boating season finally here. I want to get the lake belt out of storage here. I want to get to work here, get it all prepped for the season, and hopefully maybe go boating by next weekend. It's going to be a big task to get the boat up and running here. I want to do an engine tune-up here, uh, make sure everything is good to go so we can have fun all se uh, season long without having to stop here. So we'll get backed up here to the boat. Right about there seems to be perfect. And we'll just put it in front of the garage here so we could easily uh, work on it with the toolbox. This Mastercraft lake boat, I think we've owned for, I think, one season so far. I always end up uh, getting a new uh, boat every few seasons here. But this is a 26-foot Mastercraft. This thing is a lot of fun. We do some uh, tubing, water skiing, things like that on it here. So why don't we hop up here, really see what, we, what needs to be done. Looks like everything up here is in good shape here. Just going to be really an engine tune-up. So let's see if we get the toolbox rolled out. All right, I think that's all we have to do here with the toolbox. I don't think I'm going to get working on it just right now. Maybe tomorrow morning I will here. I'm going to have one of my buddies uh, come on over who also has a master craft. He said he already did his service, so he's going to help me out, and that will make it a lot easier here. But, guys, we have something super exciting that we're going to be doing. As many of you guys know, we own an old Craftsman mower that we bought uh, in an old barn find. And ever since then, that was so much fun. I've been looking for something like that. And, well, I found it here. Uh, properties for sale. It's an old barn that's been sitting for 25 years. And there's several items inside the barn. I gave them a call. And I think I did see some sort of lawnmower in the picture here. But I called. I said, can I swing by? Check it out. And they said, I, I can. And I could uh, pick up anything I want from it here. So why don't we take the F-250 Tremor. We'll get the uh, utility trailer. And let's go check it out. Old properties don't go for sale like this uh, quite often here in town, so we have to make the most of an opportunity when I see a property like this go for sale, and I am always looking for some fun things here. Definitely another project like an old lawnmower would be a lot of fun here, so we'll go head on over there. 
I've put about 400 miles on this truck in the last week. I've been just driving a lot here. This truck is awesome. A big upgrade from our 2017 in the ruby red uh, tremor looks awesome here. I think it even looks maybe even better than the uh, blue here, but this was actually just down the street. It was only like a few roads away from us as well, which makes it even cooler that this is a local bar and fine here. And we have the for sale sign. Look at that, guys. So they said that they have the gate unlocked here for me. And oh boy, we could already see what that looks like from a distance. This property is for sale here. I'm not sure how much they want, but it went for sale about 24 hours ago. And I just happened to see it here. But you guys can see, yeah, this looks like an old barn and has several hundred acres as well that is going for a sale. So maybe a farmer in town would buy it. But look at all this, guys. We got some old farm tractor tires. Looks like an old uh, compressor or a, some sort of old kind of a machine trailer there. You guys can see, wow, lots and lots of things here. But let's look inside. Inside here, you guys can see there's just miscellaneous here. Some old metal, some tires, some old baskets here for some sort of fruits. And oh, look at that, guys. We have trees grow, uh, growing through the uh, building right through the roof. That is not too good here. But, I mean, this building probably isn't the safest to be walking under. So we'll have to be careful. We'll just keep walking around here, you guys. And see, it looks like we have some old uh, fence posts here. Some other old, uh, looks like pieces and old parts to some silos here. Keep on going. We have some more baskets for some fruits. And I do see something yellow, something green. Let's go around side here and look at that. Wow, I guess I was right when I saw a glimpse of this in the picture. This is an old John Deere 33-2. This is an old lawnmower. That is super, super exciting here. I mean, just look at how cool this thing is. It's in pretty decent condition. Looks like the tires are flat here, but yeah, looks like just a lot of dirt and dust on it from sitting for 25 years. But let's see. I want to see if we could roll this out just like a few feet so we could really look at the other side. It's taking a little bit of muscle here. Just keep it rolling, keep it rolling. We'll get it turned just a little bit right there. And we'll see. So it looks like the engine is inside it. We have the mower deck with it, which is good. And yeah, this looks like all of the pieces are here. So why don't we take this, guys? I'm actually going to give a call to a property owner. I just want to let them know that I'm going to be taking the old lawnmower here. And I'll catch you guys back to load it up on the trailer. I talked to the property owner and they gave me the all clear to take this. They said no problem and it actually helps them on out because they said they have to clear the property before a, a buyer is willing to kind of buy it here. So we got it up on the trailer. Now one thing guys, I do not want to try to start this just yet here. I want to go through the engine. I want to put new oil, new gas, uh, really fix this up before we try to get it started because otherwise if we try now, uh, we could end up damaging the mower. And this is a pretty old one, I don't think. They have an engine replacement for that there. But let's get on back to house. We'll get it washed off and kind of see how the paint is here. But I'm going to have to, uh, this week, uh, sometime after work, I'm going to have to spend some time on it. Get the oil, get all the parts we need, and really see if we get this thing up and running. It is just so exciting to get an old barn find like this here. And like I mentioned, these don't come too often here. So we're going to enjoy this. And I, I'm, just, I'm really excited to have another project to do and uh, to keep busy after work out on. All right, we're back at the house here now. I really want to kind of check this on out here. I want to see if the paint is original or if there was spray paint, things like that on it. Because this, I think, is uh, looks to be all original here. I don't even see much rust on it. It's just been sitting for a long time, uh, which is uh, pretty good here for. Sometimes if you let it sit, let, just leave a dust on it. It's sometimes better than trying to fix it up and things like that here. So we'll get the high pressure washer on. We definitely need this here. I don't want to go too close just in case the paint kind of starts to chip off. Look at that, guys. Wow. This thing looks to be in mint condition. That is super, super exciting here. Yeah, this thing looks awesome. 
Guys, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to head inside now to order the parts, the oil filters, and things like that here. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Until next one, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more.